<laughs> so good morning, everyone. Um, so today I want to uh, uh, devote today's class uh, to the uh, Yang style 24 movement form. So uh, this is a very traditional uh, routine that you will see in competitions and when people are doing Tai Chi. Um, and the first part of the class, I want to break down some of the movements. Uh, we'll do them a little slower and we'll do them uh, out of sequence, but we'll kind of get practice so that when we go into at the end of the class, when we do the 24 form, we'll put them all together in a seamless way. And at the end of the class, we'll do it tw two times, the 24 form two times. The first time uh, I might talk a little more and the second time I'm just going to let you go do it. But before we start, I just want to cover uh, a couple of the steps and stances that we use. So um, in uh, in this Tai Chi, uh, we use a, a, a movement called sinking the Chi. And that movement is often used as a transitional movement. And uh, it's a place that any time that you feel you need a rest or you want to stop doing what I'm doing and you want to come back and ground yourself, you can just sink the Chi. And, and it's just in a close stance where the feet are together. And it's just a very simple move where you float the arms up to the side, you hug the tree, and then you sink the energy of the chi down through the center, of the, down, right down the spine, through the center of the body, down through the legs and the feet. And then we have um, an open stance, and we do a lot of moves. It's about shoulder width apart, an open stance. And uh, in both the uh, sinking the chi and the open stance, the weight is evenly distributed on both feet. Then a couple of the uh, st stand steps that we do, we have the concept that's called an empty step. And what an empty step is, if you shift all the weight to one side of your body and you kind of lift this leg up a little bit, maybe the toes touch, but most of the weight is on the standing leg and you have just enough weight on that to keep your balance. And we call that an empty step as opposed to a full step when we distribute the weight 60, 40. And I'll show you that in the stance. Uh, we do a lot of stepping out to the side into what we call a bow stance. And when you're in the bow stance, the front foot has about 60% of the weight on the front foot and 40% on the back. Sometimes that toe is pointing directly to the wall and sometimes it's pointing into the corner. So um, those are pretty much the steps and stances that we use. And that empty stance, you're going to see it in a movement that we call the white crate spreads its wings, the high pad on the horse, diving into the sea bottom. So, but I want to also emphasize that you don't have to memorize anything. You don't have to get anything right. There's no right or wrong. The only thing you need to do as we move through the class is to breathe because Tai Chi is all about the breath. It's the using the breath and coordinating the breath with the movement so that you can get into the slow dance of Tai Chi, the moving meditation, where the inhale and the exhale are coordinated with the body movement. So that's it. If I go one way, you're going the other way. Don't worry about it. There's no right or wrong. Just breathe. All right, let's start the music and we'll begin. Ah. So starting in that close stance, let's just take, let the arms float up to the side and let's open up the heart center, open up the breath, empty the mind of all distractions, let the arms float down and let's start our first move sinking the chi, inhaling up, hugging the tree, and then sinking the energy down through the center of the body. The inhale up. And we exhale down. And let's take the arms up in the front. Inhale up. And let's step out into an open stance and just shift the weight from side to side. And as you're shifting weight, all the weight will go into one foot and you'll have an empty step on the other side. And we'll just let the arms float across. Now, let's break down, play the pipa. So, with the heel goes into the corner, most of the weight, you got that, it's pretty much almost an empty step. And then we go to the other side, let the arms float across. And then the weight is on that leg and the heel is into the corner. 
So this is the first part of Play the Pipa. Ah, we inhale across, and we exhale the heel into the corner. The next part is this arm goes right over the foot. Arm over the foot. The second part of play the pipa is what happens in the other arm. So the first arm goes over the foot and the second hand goes right over the knee. And then we go to the other side. Let's let it flow. Let's just get into the into the moving meditation. Oh. Oh. And let's hug the tree and sink the chi. Inhale up. Hugging the tree and exhaling down. If you like, when you exhale, you can make a sound on the exhalation. Oh. And let's go right back into that shifting of the weight. Now, the next move I'm going to break down is going to be the white crane spreading its wings. First, I want to break down what happens with the feet. And we're going to utilize that empty step. So I got all the weight on that leg. And I got all the weight on that leg. And on this foot, I have that empty step going to the ball of the foot. Inhale. And exhale. Ah. We're not worried about the arms yet. We're just worried about the footwork. Ah. Ah. Now let's, this time, let's lift that knee up first before we go into the empty step. Let's lift the knee up, balance, and then go to the empty step. Ah. Ah. Now this time, when we lift the knee, let's kick the heel into the corner and then go to our empty step. Lift the knee, kick the heel into the corner and go to the empty step. This is not really part of the white crane spreading its wings. We don't kick in the white crane spread its wings. I just wanted to get us into the sense of shifting the weight and then coming to that empty step now let's just shift the weight and let's see what happens to the arms next in the white crane spreading its wings first we'll take one arm under we'll reach under that wrist and then we're going to take the palm and as we're going to push, let us go across the uh the forearm and then we're going to let the white crane spread its wings. I'm just doing the arms now. You notice when you do this, you take it across and the white crane spreading its wings. Inhaling, exhaling, and the white crane is spreading its wings. I'm also shifting my weight here. <sighs> now we're pretty soon we're gonna put these together. First, just get the white crane spreading its wings. Very proud movement. Oh. 
Okay, now we're going to put them together. So first, we take the hand across. Now, as you're coming across, you shift the weight and go into your empty step and spread your wings. This is the white crane spreading its wings. And we're going to add something to it. After the white crane spreads its wings, we're going to dive into the sea bottom. The white crane goes fishing, diving into the sea bottom. Coming up to the, to the white crane spreading its wings. Going to the other side. And then needle at the sea bottom. Doesn't matter what side you're on. Doesn't matter if you're following me. Now let's go to the rooster standing on one leg. And then the white crane spreading its wings. So first we go to the needle at the sea bottom. And then we go to the rooster standing on one leg. And then we come down to white crane on the other side. And we go to the white crane on the other side. I think I forgot to go to the, <laughs> that's okay. Now I want to do something a little bit different. So first the white crane spreads its swings the needle at the sea bottom and from here we're going to gather the chi shift that weight and we're going to lift the knee and now we're going to kick the heel into that corner so first the white crane is going to spread its wings needle at the sea bottom the rooster standing on one leg the gathering of the chi. And when you kick into the corner, one hand goes right over the leg and the other hand goes right out to the side. Rooster stands on one leg. Gather the chi and kick into that corner. And then the rooster, I mean, the white crane spreads its wings on this side. And we'll go to this side. Gather the chi and we're going to kick into that corner. white crane spreads its wings on the other side. Hug the tree. Open the heart center. Hug the tree again and sink the chi. Oh. Now, let's do some cloud hands. The hands float like clouds across the sky. We shift the weight. We inhale up 
and we exhale across. We're going to use cloud hands a lot when we get to the 24 form. Now, the other thing we're, move we're going to practice is hooking this hand single whip. I just want to do without the footwork. I just want to do just what happens with the arms and hands. We inhale this way and we exhale as we shift the weight and then we push. It's called single whip, a single whip. Then we're going to let go of the hook and we're going to go into cloud hands. Shifting that weight. And now we're going to hook on this side and single whip on this side. Just the arm and hand movement and without the footwork. Now we're going to step into our T-step. We're going to embrace the moon. We're going to hook and now we're going to put the footwork into it. So we're going to, first thing we do is the heel hits the ground. As the toe comes down, we go out. Inhale back. And exhale forward. Form your hook. Step into your T-step. And this side. Now I want to practice a move called the hat the high horse. So after you do your single whip, you're going to open your palms up. You're going to step into a half step and you're going to get low. And then you're going to turn to that corner. There's an empty step into that corner. And then you do your high pat on the horse. So let's go back into our single whip. Out of the single whip, palms up, half step in, and we go low, we take the foot into the corner, and then we do high pat on the horse. We'll do that again. One more time. And let's just go into cloud hands. Inhale up, exhale across. When you come over to this side, form your hook, step in. And let's try high pat on the horse on this side. And back into our hook. Step in. Now I want to go into a new move. And it's called the snake crawls down the tree. So from the single whip, you sit back. This arm comes up and over, and then the snake crawls down the tree, and when it gets to here, it turns its head that way, and as this goes across, that hook turns up in the back. This arm comes up, step in, and we're gonna to add to it the rooster standing on one leg. So let's try that again. Let's go back into single whip. and then up and over. Now, how low do you want to go? It's up to you. You can get a really wide stance. You want to go as low as you are comfortable going, where you can still smile. But let's just see where that point is for us. So, once you find where you want to go, snake goes down the tree, it turns its head, the hook turns up, you face that direction, you step in, and then the rooster stands on one leg. Let's try that one more time. Step in.
and let's go into cloud hands. Let's hook on this side and let's do our single whip. Up and over. The snake rolls down the tree, turns its head, goes through the grass. Rooster stands on one leg and sink the chi. Now, let's run through the 24 form. I'm going to start way over here because we're going to be moving that way and moving back. So the first move is to step out to your open stance and a move that's called open the door. Inhale up, exhale down. Then shift your weight, turn those toes in and go into a T-step and embrace the moon. Step out. This is the part the wild vein of the horse. Sit back, pick the toes up, rotate the heels outward, step in and turn, embrace the moon and part the wild vein of the horse on that side. Sit back, rotate on the heel, toes out, step around embrace the moon and here's our third one after this third one we're going to take a half step in and we're going to let the white crane spread its wings from here turn that palm up and repulse the monkey as you step back to the ball of the foot the heel comes down and you repulse the monkey inhale the hand up exhale back After this one, the white crane is going to spread its wings. And then you're going to take this arm about level to your face. And the next move, rush knee, twisted step. Same transition, sit back, rotate on the heel all the way around. Rush knee, twisted step. After this third one, we're going to do a half step in and we're going to play the pipa. Half step in, play the pipa. Then we're going to repulse the monkey moving back. Notice you have an empty step in the front, follow the foot. From here, you're going to embrace the moon, step into your T-step, and seize the sparrow's tail. First, we ward off, then we reach up, and we stroke the sparrow's tail. Throw it away, bring those hands into the chest, push hands, clear hands, sit back, lift the toes, and push the mountain. Sit back, bringing the hands to the heart center. Rotate on the heel, and the same thing on the other side. First, we ward off. Tease the sparrow and stroke the tail. Throw it away. Push hands. And push mountain. One plowed hand. Form your hook, step in, single whip. Now let this hand hook go and cloud hands. Step in, cloud hands. Step out, cloud hands. Step in, cloud hands. Step out. and on your hook becomes your single whip remember high pat on the horse gather the chi rotate 
and we're going to kick into that corner. We're going to kick the heel into that corner. Now we're going to bring you to kick in and step into the corner and box the ears of your opponent. Sit back, rotate around, and you're going to kick into that corner. From here, you're going to step way out. You're going to form a hook. You're going to turn those toes in, those toes out, and then the snake is going to crawl down the tree. It's going to turn its head up in the hook, and the rooster is going to stand on one leg. You're going to come down. You're going to turn and form your hook. You're going to step out. The snake rolls down the tree goes through the grass as the hook turns up. Step in, and the rooster stands on one leg. Come down, step into that corner, embrace the moon, rotate on the heel, and then step into that corner and let the fair lady open the loom and push the shuttle through the loom. Rotate on the heel, sit back, rotate on the heel, embrace the moon, into that corner. The fair lady works the shuttle. Sit back and step into your needle at the seam bottom. Now, go into that corner, heel, put your toe down, open the arms. The arms are like giant fans. Sit back. Rotate on the heel, come all the way around, step into your T-step, step out, deflect, then you're gonna step and parry, like you're pushing somebody in the face, and then you're gonna punch, boom. And then you're gonna put that arm under, palm up, turn both palms up, inhale back, push mountain, rotate, step out and close the door. Step together. And we just did the 24 form. So this time when we go through it, I'm not going to talk so much. And don't worry about getting it right. So we're going to start in a close stance. Let's just sink the chi to start. Oh. Recentering ourselves. Let's begin with the first movement. 